Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to this special episode where I am going to show you how to use Nest Trading Terminal. And this video is sponsored by FiPaisa.com and not by Nest Company. Without wasting the time, we will go straight away. I have already installed the software. So, this is the Nest Trader in FiPaisa. And many people ask me, Sir, where can I buy Nest Terminal? You cannot buy. Only your broker will have to provide. So, your broker will send you a link to download and install. So, you have to download and install the Nest software. Only your broker can provide. So, if you really want Nest Terminal, if your broker is not providing, the only way you have to change the broker. My broker, fivepaisa.com, provides Nest Terminal, but provided your capital is 25 lakh rupees. And if you want to open an account in fivepaisa, you can see the link in the description. So, you can open an account in 5 paisa. So, this is a Nest Trading Terminal. So I just double click and open it. So, this is my client code and I click OK. Then I need to enter password. System is logging in. Once you are logged in, whatever you have already saved. Nifty, Bank Nifty, some options I have saved. Let us say you want to add something. You can go here. You can see Nifty, a National Stock Exchange of India, Futures and Options future index, option index, so what you want to add, let us say option index, nifty, a call option, 18,200 call option, then let us say third November expiry, okay, you just click enter, so it will be coming here. Let us say I want to buy 18,200 call option, all I have to go to order, order entry, buy order entry. So, this is the buy order entry. You can check the exchange, you can check the uh, thing order type, whether you want to put limit order, market order, stop loss order and uh, you are a client. So, it will be default client only. You are doing option index, nifty, call option 18,200 and so on everything. All you can do, you can just put any price what you want, you can just click submit. But there are certain shortcuts for buy order F1, sell order is F2. So, you know I am a seller. So, I will just show you how I am selling. I press F2. Let us say I want to sell two lots or let us say one lot. Just I am selling one lot and I want to sell at 8 rupees. NFO limit order, nifty call option 18,200 and uh, 50 quantity I am selling at 8 rupees. Click submit. So, when I click submit, it will ask for a transaction password. Enter my transaction password. So, the order is placed. Now, trading around 790 only. So, 8 rupees. You can see here the order status open. It is not filled in. So, 550 quantity at 8 rupees. Now, you can see here the order got triggered. Complete. So, the order got completed. And how to know whether order is completed? You can go to order book you can press f3 if the order got triggered and this will be shown here if the order got not triggered it is a pending order it will be shown in the upper off or you can press f8 it will show you the prices at what price we have triggered and then most important and how much money you have how many lots you can put that you don't know what you can go you can go view rms limit or the shortcut key is Control shift v You click here, you will be coming to this page. Here you go to select all clients. So here my name is PR Sundar. Cash margin available is 73 lakh 38,000 rupees. Margin used is 57 lakh rupees. So now my available margin is 15 lakh 65,000. So you can roughly calculate how much orders can go. Now you see another interesting thing I tell you, I sold 18,200 call option. Now let us say I go and sell one 17,700 put option. Let us say I want to sell at 13 rupees 75 pies. So the order got triggered. Now if you look at the RMS limit and you see you have 14.74. So as you are uh, taking more and more position, available margin will be shown. You can explore so many things. You can see sometime for one or the other reason the, re it, the refreshing is not taking place. You click refresh the broadcast. So it will start refreshing. And then you want to change the password. So these are the things. So the, the many things are here. But I am just showing only the simple small things. Another interesting thing 
just now i sold 18200 call option at 8 rupees now it has gone to 8 rupees 80 paise 9 rupees price shot up but let us say i want to sell one call option and one put option then there is something called simultaneous order so here i can show you nifty call option 3rd november quantity 50 uh, let us say i want to place a market order okay here i want to buy or sell i want to sell and let us say i want to sell put option 17700 put option and also at the market price quantity 50 and the price is at market price and then i can just go and place both the orders will be getting triggered so i don't want to place because the market is falling i don't want to sell put option now another interesting thing here there is something called basket order and let us say i remove this nifty now let us say i want to buy one lot of 39700 call option bank nifty i want to sell five lots of 40300 call option and i want to buy four lots of 40800 call option what they call it as a butterfly buy one sell five buy four then i place this order then i come here by that time the price can change so i don't want to take the price risk so what i can do i can create a basket go to orders there is a basket order normal basket you can see limit maybe i want to place a market order i want to buy bank nifty 39700 call option maybe one lot okay so when you click add it will be added then what i want to do 40300 call option i want to sell five lots and nfo market is a sell sell option index bank nifty 40300 call option so again place order and then again market buy option index 40800 call option and i want to buy four lots 200 quantity then i can add so you can see here 50 quantity buy 250 quantity sell 200 quantity buy and strike price is 39700 40300 40800 so what you can do all i am placing in the market price you just go and click place and yes and everything will be triggered at the market price so you can see it is bought at 331 and this is sold at 71 yeah order got triggered if the order did not get triggered you can go and click modify you can change the order so this is another beautiful thing about this software you want to execute two orders together at the same time you can use the uh, simultaneous order and you want to do many orders 1 5 4 2 too many orders you can do execute and if you press f11 you can see all your positions okay if you see all your positions i am having 39700 call option buy uh, 40200 call option sell 40300 call option sold i think i sold it earlier so these are all the positions i am holding already so they are my old positions and here you can see your mtm profit or loss i am actually sitting with a 32000 rupees loss that's because i am having lot of tata steel put option i have so in every strike price how much is the mark to market loss or profit will be shown here you can see there was a loss of 46000 rupees in tata steel put option so that's why i'm having a 33000 rupees net loss what mtm here you see it is today's mtm it is not from the day i bought or sold the prices shares from yesterday's closing price until now what is your mtm only that will be shown from where you started until yesterday if you want to know you have to go and look at your back office another few interesting things here let us say market is crashing so you want to exit all position you can click any one position then press control a all positions are selected you just click square off and all positions will be squared off at the market rate then if you press control f you can see the filter let us say you want to see only the bank nifty you just type you can see only the bank nifty positions only the bank nifty positions you see i'm sitting with a mtm profit of 29000 okay i'm happy with uh, this kind of profit i want to exit or i can do control a and then square off 
only the bank nifty positions will be squared off so this here you can you want to see only the nifty you can see only the nifty so these are the positions or you want to see only the tata steel you can just type tata you can see the position okay let us say you want to see one strike price particular strike price only you want to see whether you are sitting in profit or loss let us say a 40200 call option you want to see yeah only that 40200 call option will be reflected or you can just choose anything let us say uh, you want to series you want to look at only at the options which are expiring on 3rd november you just type and let us say market is falling so suddenly some black swan event market is falling why you need to exit all the position you will have some long positions some short positions so long position will give huge loss if market crashing short position will give profit so you want to exit only the long position what you can do just click press ctrl a then here you can go you can choose long and then click square off all the long positions will be squared off or let us say market shooting up you remember nirmala candle the market was shooting up you want to exit only the short position you can just choose short and then just click square off so no need to look at individual contracts all the longs or all the shorts whichever you choose it will be squared off these are the basic things press f1 press f for buy press f2 for sell press f3 for knowing what position you have uh, like pending order or triggered order and press f11 to know the position and if any order you place you press f3 and then you here there is no pending order you can choose the pending order click modify you can modify or you want to cancel it just click you can cancel it so you can do anything so the bigger advantage of this one is the price will keep refreshing so that is the best advantage so if you go and explore yourself you can see uh, many more things you know here i created a page with a name sundar let us say i want to create another page where i want to keep all my stocks all you have to do click plus and then just name stocks okay then again click here so now the page created so the first page is sundar where i am having only nifty and bank nifty the second page i can choose only the stocks so future stock let us say sbi so this video is being recorded on uh, 22nd of november let us say sbi is trading around 520 maybe i look at the stock option sbi let's say let us look at 520 call option trading around 26 rupees if i see 550 call option trading around 1460 560 call option trading around 11 rupees 80 pies so what i want to do i want to buy one lot of 520 call option i want to sell one lot of 550 call one lot of 560 call what i should do go to orders basket orders normal basket and then you can see So you can see here 520 call option I want to buy, 550 call option want to sell, 560 call option want to sell. Just now the place was not clear. So once you click reset, it will be appearing. So click place. Are you sure you want to place this basket orders? Yes. You can go and see. So bought. One lot has been bought. And here one lot has been sold. Here one lot has been sold at market price. You can have a multiple. You want to have one more window also, you can open, you can have it. I hope this helps you. And if you want to know more advanced futures, maybe you can go to Google. You can just try Nest Trading Terminal tutorial PDF or something like that. You can find some materials. Many people will face one difficulty if you take Nest Trading Terminal. Most brokers either will set the limit in web platform or will set the limit in nest some people say they want to take nest and then during the office hours they want to trade in web uh, that may be difficult so either you can trade in web and mobile or you can trade in nest so you can't trade in both so that's a slight drawback so other than that uh, so there are no other issues 
and just to summarize I repeat F1 by F2 cell F3 for pending order and triggered order F8 to see at what price let us say you put at market price you want to know at what price it has been sold that is F8 F11 will show you the whole position and then how to use the simultaneous order how to use basket order okay so all this I taught you another important thing uh, in your web platform or mobile platform you can actually do the pay in and pay out and which is not possible through nest trading platform so you have to transfer using your uh, web and then the limit will be set in nest you can trade in nest so hope you enjoyed watching the video thank you for watching